Welcome to another episode of The Wind Down with Miss Amarachi. Today we're winding down with Dark Horse Big Red Blend. But before we get into it, let's get into it. Standing at 13.5% alcohol by volume, Dark Horse Red Blend is a bold, dark wine made from a blend of premium winemaking grapes from California, Argentina, Chile, and Spain. Showcasing notes of blueberry, raspberry, plum, and black currant, this red wine is rounded out with caramel, mocha, and brown spice notes. This full-bodied red wine has smooth acidity and a long finish. The versatile red blend wine is perfect for pairing with cheese or serving at backyard barbecues. Now, let's get into it. Cheers. Okay, so I don't know what black currant tastes like, but I imagine that that's what this tastes like because I don't taste blueberry, I don't taste plum, I don't taste raspberry. I do kind of get that hint of mocha and it's, it's not as rich, it's kind of airy, which I'm not mad about. I'm really not mad about how airy this is. It's definitely not sweet but it's not too rich to where it's like displeasing. Um, I, I definitely see why they would pair this with a barbecue. Um, maybe again get some ribs and, and have that just to kind of finish out the, the, the taste of the ribs or even some like barbecue chicken. Um, I can definitely see pairing very well with this. If I was going to rate it out of a 10, I would probably give it a five um it's not really my cup of tea um again y'all know i like the sweet sweet juice juice wines and that's not what this is but it is 13.5 percent alcohol so if you want to take the edge off you know what i'm saying this is definitely a great wine to go with um, the wine retails for $8 to $11. I got this for, I believe it was $10 um, at Sprouts Farmer's Markets. I know they also sell this at Target and again, other wine stores. So you can definitely, you know, get this wine. It's, it's a little bit more on the affordable side um, and it's easily accessible um, to get. Again, I don't necessarily love it. I'm not raving for it. I wouldn't grab it off of my wine um, or bar cart, but it's definitely something that, again, if you are having a barbecue um, or if you're putting something on the grill or you just want to take the edge off at night and you don't want anything that's too sweet that might give you a little bit more of a headache or might keep you up um, and give you that sugar rush, this is definitely something that um, you can you can lean and, 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 and grab for. As always, thank you so much for joining me on this wind down with Miss Amarachi. If there are any wines that you're interested in me trying, make sure you drop them in the comments below or DM me on any social media platforms. And make sure you tune in next week to see how we wind down.